Hey everybody, Animal Man here. It's a beautiful October day, the sun is shining, and I'm going to take you to a rattlesnake den that I've been visiting for 13 years. Stay with us. So, it's a beautiful day, perfect day for this. Not that much wind, and um, we are in an area where there's a huge talus slope and I'm at the base of the slope and it goes up this way to the uh, left of me and it's you look for an area that's kind of like west or southwest and this slope is facing southwest and the snakes prefer this because it gets the best sun exposure kind of the second half of the day so that's what I look for in dens it took me two years searching to find this one and this is very special to me this is the first den that I've ever found and I know of a whole bunch of them now so I'm going to take you up there to the den. I know these snakes very, very well. I know the spots they frequent, where they tend to come out of the den. And hopefully we'll have some luck today. Whoa. All right, guys, I'm at the snake den. There's a rattlesnake right in its bushes. I thought they'd be in the rocks right below me right here. That's their usual spot. But there's one individual right up here in the bushes. I'm gonna zoom in for you. These are so beautiful. <laughs> These snakes are so cool. They're like, these snakes are so cool. They're like a living legend. I've been visiting this den in particular uh, for 13 years now. And uh, I come twice a year. I come in the fall and the spring. The fall right now, it's mid-October. Now is the best time to get really, really good photos of these and video because they've been out in the summer, in the sun, warm, feeding, digesting, shedding their skin, and they have like the beautiful, beautiful coloration right now. In the spring, they come out here and they look like hell. They look like they've been in the cave for six months because they have been. In the spring, they're all like beaten up, scraped from the rocks, covered in cobwebs, covered in poop from other rattlesnakes. They look horrendous. As you can imagine, I mean, 
if I was stuck in a cave for six months, I'd look the same, probably. All right, calm down, dude. I'm gonna see if there's any, uh, any of your relatives around here. Oh, man. <laughs> 